What's up guys, it's Jane Day Exotics and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about Pac-Man frogs and their care. If you guys like this type of content and you want to support the channel, smash that subscribe button. I'll also post all my social media links down below in the description. Thank you guys and let's begin. Pac-Man frogs, or South American horned frogs, are a terrestrial frog that originates in the rainforest in South America. They are very common in Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, and Brazil. There are eight species that can be found in the wild. These guys get their names because they resemble the video game character Pac-Man with their round bodies and big eyes. They are very popular in the pet trade due to their availability and ease of care. They can be found at almost every exotic pet shop and reptile expo. When you see babies at the expo, they'll be a little bigger than a quarter, but they'll grow much bigger depending on the sex. Males average between 2.5 to 4 inches, while females can reach 4 to 7 inches in length. Pac-Man frogs are a sit-down and ambush style predator, and will burrow down into the substrate up to their eyes and wait for their prey. Once they see their prey within range, they strike. Due to their lack of movement, an adult can be housed in a 10 gallon enclosure. I currently have my baby Pac-Man frog housed in a 2.5 gallon enclosure. Provide a deep substrate layer for these guys because they will burrow. Providing moss will help keep the humidity levels up and keep your frog hydrated. I'd recommend a bioactive setup for these frogs. A cleanup crew and plants will help break down and eliminate their waste. The plants and leaf litter will also act as natural hides for them. Pac-Man frogs require warmer temperatures in their enclosure. Temperatures around 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit are ideal. Baby Pac-Man frogs prefer more towards 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. You can achieve these temperatures with an under tank heater or a heat lamp. If you're going to use a light, I recommend using Zoomed's Nano Heat Dome system. These lights aren't very powerful and they won't dry out your frog's enclosure as fast. These frogs also like it humid around 60 to 80%. Misting their tank twice a day will help achieve this humidity level. A bioactive setup with plants will also help keep the humidity high. You can also offer a water bowl and that'll help moderate the humidity. The frog may also use the water bowl if it wants to. These amazing frogs can eat a wide variety of feeders as long as they're appropriately sized. They can eat roaches, crickets, worms, fish, and even smaller mice. You want to make sure you don't overfeed your Pac-Man frogs. If they appear to be larger than normal, cut back on the food. You want your frog to be a round circular shape. Pac-Man frogs are aggressive to other species and other Pac-Man frogs, so they should be housed alone. They'll try to eat anything small enough that comes near them. These guys are also known to bite, and adults can even draw blood. A Pac-Man frog's mouth is lined with little tiny teeth. That, combined with their sensitive, absorbent skin, makes them a great display animal. I wouldn't handle them unless it's necessary. Like most frogs, they're nocturnal predators and they're amazing to watch eat. If a Pac-Man frog's enclosure is too dry, they can form a tough outer layer of skin so they don't dehydrate. Pac-Man frogs have also been known to live up to 15 years in captivity, so owning one of these guys is a big commitment. They make great pets for all level experience keepers. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.